It's that time, America. What goes up must wipe out. If anybody can thwart them, Johnny, my bet's on this lady, Caroline Lee. She's made the mile and a half swim from Alcatraz four times. Why doesn't she just take the ferry? No, swimming from Alcatraz, part of a triathlon. Oh, uh, I've never tried any kind of athlon. Well, can she get past the ornery guards known as the trouble use? Yes or no? <laughs> yes! Wow. The correct answer is... No. Caroline Lee punished by the trouble use and now heading to our little island, the finish spot. With a time of 4.11, this jailbreaker might just be busted into round two. I gotta lie down. <laughs> Next up at the top of the court, it's overdrive. Ooh, looks complicated. Not terribly. All you need to know is the contestants begin on this 10-foot high starting platform. They must enter the steering wheel on the green spot, exit off the red spot, crossing one of the three obstacles to the finish. They'll have to avoid our nasty yellow windshield wipers, however. And if they wipe out, go under the sweeper arms or get eaten by Bigfoot, back to the beginning they go and they'll start again. The first six contestants who make it to the finish spot will move on to our next round. The other six won't. Wordsmith, Johnny. Thank the you. contestants in position as we speak. Let's get down to the action. Go, 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 go,
from this course, Johnny, and moves on to the wipeout zone. Jailbreaker Caroline Lee. Caroline Lee escaped the qualifier in just over four minutes, moving on to overdrive, where she was the first woman to cross successfully. After spending the day displaying the kind of attitude you need in the big house, she flew the coop in the second inning of Bruce Ball, becoming the rock in our wipeout zone. Caroline loaded into the catapult, hoping to walk away with our $50,000 prize. Still on the sidelines with our current leader, the dude. Ready or not, jailbreaker about to take flight. Oh, oh, oh. oh let's take a look at that again. She gets some serious air and lands flat on her back, but she manages to regain her composure quickly. Boy's a big part of things here, Johnny. There are going to be some setbacks. It's how you keep moving forward. Oh, jeez. Judging by her hesitation, she is not sure how to tackle this obstacle. But she goes for it anyway. Wipeout zone, a fearsome physical test, and our jailbreaker just getting pummeled. <laughs> round and round she goes. How to get off, apparently, she is not aware. Just can't brace herself, continuing to get tossed about and taking a serious blow each time. Trying to steady herself on those planks, just like the dude did now. It's going faster than that. What do you think? Now, the dude failed the first time he tried to leave the spin cycle. Hey, hey look at that, Caroline, one and done, onto the platform. Our jailbreaker used to great escapes, but now she's going to try to take on the long arms of the law, the triple threat. Stepping to the second. Oh, no. Caroline didn't even need the sweeper arm to help her wipe out. All that foam she took with her from that spin cycle was more than enough to trip her up. Now, liberated from all that foam, jailbreaker ready to try this thing again. Safely past the second table, this time running about two minutes ahead of the dude's pace. Now just a leap to the platform, and she's made. Right at the four-minute mark as Caroline gets set for a run on the rib range. On the move there. Oh, oh. two ribs in, and she takes a tumble. Yeah, not a great performance on the rib range. Remember, the further you make it across, the less time you spend on that long, cold swim to the next obstacle. Good news for Caroline, though. That's a much easier swim than one of those from Alcatraz. Only the gauntlet left now to tackle. First up, those spiked whackers, which raise and lower. Oh, jailbreaker oh. oh. can't escape the spiked whackers. Quickly back up and ready to challenge the gauntlet yet again. And this time she is through the first. And yes, Caroline makes it through those two spiky walls and races the arms in danger. Absorbing some blows early there. Oh. Oh. oh! Back in the water, Johnny, and she just didn't seem comfortable from the very start. So it is back to the start of the gauntlet all over again. Now a third exhausting trip for our jailbreaker. She still has a time advantage on the dude, but it is slowly being eaten away. And finally she's made. Back to the arms and dangers that tripped her up the last time. Sneaks her way between the first and second arm. Maneuvering her way past the next. She steadies herself in the middle. Now taking off for the finish. Yes! Oh, our new leader at 9 minutes and 24 seconds. I hate you, Icicle. So jailbreaker Caroline Lee posts a new time to beat, but don't go anywhere. When we come back, the world's greatest dad, Sean Foster, and the inchworm, Carolyn Sheramataro, are going to tackle the zone. Caroline Lee is your new wipeout champion. Oh, <laughs> Way to go, sister.